This is Jake with Tacticon Armament. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to be going over the 223556 laser bore sight today. Uh, effectively, the procedure that we're about to do today is going to be it's going to work with any laser bore sight, so regardless of the caliber. Um, we sell this laser bore sight with two sets of batteries. It's got three LR41 batteries that it takes, and again, we sell it with two sets. You'll get about an hour's worth of charge with each set of batteries, so about two hours to allow yourself plenty of time to zero in your optic. Um, first thing you're going to do is take the laser bore sight. You're going to take the end cap off of it by unscrewing it. Then you're going to take your batteries out. You've got a flat side, which is your positive side. You've got a beveled side, which is your negative side. And the easiest way to get the batteries inside of here, you're going to go negative side down, positive side up. So I like to take the negative side, which is the beveled side, and stack them up on the end of a table. It's the easiest way to go about it. Once these are stacked up, you can basically encompass the batteries inside of the laser sight, the laser bore sight, and then slide it off the edge of the table, and then put the end cap on. If you try to put these batteries in one at a time, uh, essentially what could end up happening is you'll get the positive side flipping over on the other side. It's kind of hard to get them in. So it can be a little frustrating. So just stack them up and then slide them in that way. You'll be good to go. Uh, the way I like to insert these inside of the firearm is going to open up, I'll open up the uh, chamber, so lock the bolt to the rear. I like to keep the magazine fed inside the bottom, an empty magazine fed inside the bottom of the firearm. Uh, the reason why is if I'm trying to put this in and it falls down the bottom, it could hit the floor and damage the laser bore sight. So I'll get an empty magazine in there to lock it into place. I'll use gravity to my advantage, point the muzzle towards the ground, take the round, drop it into the chamber here. Then to be able to lock it in, do not let the bolt slide forward. You will break the laser bore sight or potentially break the laser bore sight. So instead, go ahead and release the bolt and slowly guide it into the forward position. That'll lock the laser into the front of the sight or into the front of the chamber. And you can notice, if you look here on the back wall, that that laser is now pointing through the barrel. What that's gonna do is that, that laser now emulates where that round would effectively be if I were to have a live round in here and pull the trigger. What you could do from here is inside the comfort of your own home or uh, even outside if you really want to, uh, out in your backyard, you'll be able to zero in your optic using the elevation and the windage adjustments here on the side. So here we've got a Predator V3. It's got a little red dot inside of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little red dot inside of my optic and I am going to line it up with the red dot that's on the wall that our laser bore sight is producing. Then I'm going to adjust my windage and my elevation, these two knobs right here, until the dot inside of my optic and the dot on the wall line up. Once that happens, effectively that optic is zeroed. Obviously it's not going to account for you know, any sort of elevation drop or anything like that, depending on the grain that you're using. But uh, it's about as effective as you can get without actually taking it and do a live zero firing at the range. Um, you can also do it with iron sights here. So if you've got a set of iron sights, you just adjust your, you take your rear sight aperture, line it up with your front sight aperture as you normally would when you fire. And uh, you basically adjust your windage here on the back, your elevation on the front, and make sure these two are lined up with that red dot. Uh, however, well, I do recommend if you're doing this, not to do it this close. I recommend at least 15 meters, uh, preferably 25 meters if you're zeroing using this laser bore sight. That's the most effective way to zero your optic, in my opinion. Um, but again, if you only have maybe 15 or 20 feet of real estate inside your house that you're able to use, it's better than nothing. Um, again, taking it out in the backyard is probably where it would be the most effective. Uh, to get it out, you're just gonna take your bolt, and lock it to the rear. You'll put your hand right outside that cover let it fall into your hand. And then to turn it off, you just take the back off of it, drop the batteries out, and then store it without the batteries inside of it. And when you do store it, don't allow the batteries to touch each other because those batteries, uh, it could possibly degrade the life of the batteries if they're uh, up against one another. And that is how you use the Tacticon laser bore sight for a 223556 or any caliber for that matter. If you have any other questions or concerns, or you uh, simply want to pick our brain about something regarding this product, you're more than welcome to give us a call at 916-538-6205, or you can uh, 
just go on our website at Tacticon.com and uh, use the email or the messaging platform there. Thank you.